Got a 2000 Ford Excursion, 5.4 liter engine, limited edition, 216,000 miles. It's got Pathfinder, all train tires on it. Still all pretty, all four tires do match. All four pretty good, pretty good tread. Excursion does have a hell damage on the top of the hood and the top of the fenders and along the passenger side. It is equipped with a towing package. It's got a 534 saber hitch with the seven way lights. They all work. There's one of the biggest dents on the fender from the hill damage. This is probably the tire with the least amount of thread, thread on the tires. That still has got quite a bit. And it does have running, running boards. Got the 6040 bench seat in the center, captain chairs up front, um, all leather on the seats. Uh, the um, seats slide forward and lean forward for access to the third row seat here in the back. There is some scratches over on the side plastic. spare tire there on the side. The third row seat does come out. Pull that handle there. That, um, pull straight up. And it also folds over. If you want more space. Folds over and locks down. It sticks up if you need the whole entire space. It comes out and you just have access to the middle row. Uh, with the seat it'll fit eight comfortably. Probably room still have sto storage behind it. Or you can take it out and still fit comfortably five and still have a quite a bit of room if you just need to haul just need one or two people but need more room take the third row out lay the middle ones flat down folds back and then you got a four by eight area about two and a half to three feet tall fully enclosed so it's a multi-purpose uh, SUV as far as hauling eight up to eight pastures or up to hauling a couple people and with a load in the back As the, and also the door locks. The uh, this recently, I've, when I bought it four years ago, I went through and uh, replaced all the door lock actuators, and they all worked till them. Uh, very recently, the driver me, uh, door lock mechanism has um, seized up to lack of better words. The actuator, I think, is still working, but as far as locking, probably needs to bring some penetrating oil cleaned out in the rear left lid. Did that about a month ago. The other, all the other doors locked those two there. No. And the only other issue besides the hell damage is with the Ford 5.4 liters, I believe it's from 99 to 02. 
had the head gasket oil leak issue in mind is back from the this one has one that's on the passenger side rear and you don't see it but you smell it because it's down on the exhaust and if you drive down the highway it's not really noticeable but if you're in town you're stopping at a stoplight and you'll notice that it is a repairable repairable item you got a price to sell as is and it does have heavy duty towing hooks in the front Does have some minor, you know, scratches based on age from the inside. There's the console top lid. Console's got a little. Does have the multi CD disc changer here. I've never used it, never tested, so I don't know if it works or doesn't. That's got a nice deep console. And overall, for um, the 2000. 2002 of 216,000 miles. I personally put 40,000 miles on it, never had an issue. When I first bought it, had the coal over plug, uh, ignition coils that were misfiring. I replaced them, replaced the coil boots, replaced the spark plugs. Um, that was 30,000 miles ago. Those are only good for 100, 150,000. The OE ones, which is what I replaced, had, they had 170,000 on them. And uh, between that and that head gasket, it's the only issue these 5.4 five, five, liter engines had any problems on. Um, engine's strong, uh, the transmission you know, feels strong, um, that, that made a road trip to Georgia back on vacation one year, take the Kansas back several times, and I wouldn't hesitate again on the, take it doing that. The oil leak is about approximately about one quart, about every 3,000 miles, I just check every 1,000 miles and finish topping it off, so thanks for looking. Also, want to point out that the air conditioner works good, blows cold here. Uh, never had an issue with it. It also does have a dual zone climate control for heat and air. But the controls up here, the left controls in the back, uh, or on the back console, there's uh, controls that can be controlled or can be controlled up front. And it's got vents throughout the uh, where they be positioned in the, in the back on the passengers. And that, that works good. That's coming into handy several times for one year old son to have it on. Back there is where a lot of vehicles don't have the dual climate control and it's just trying to get cool in the back from the front and that's not a very effective way to keep the passengers in the rear cool. There's the controls for the passengers in the back. You can see the one up front there is the, the for the driver or pa passenger up front wants to override the one in the back they can. So there's a show that's got the four vents. And the, for the rear zone, two for the third row, and two for the uh, middle row. Here's a quick video to get an idea of what it looks like looking outside of the excursion going down the road.